the other committee members, Supervisor Wright. I, let's see, a uh, couple things. One, um, really appreciate the folks, uh, everyone who came up today and hearing your personal stories uh, and or observations as members of, a commu of the community. Um, we did start this conversation here at the county level some almost two years ago, 18 months ago, and though it seems like it has been a long time that we've been working on this, um, as was articulated today, we are making some progress. These aren't easy decisions, and there are nuances around especially um, uh, the things like just cause or rent stabil stabilization. There's different forms. Um, it's been, they, both those kinds of programs have been implemented in different ways in different communities with different kinds of results. But I think bottom line for Marin County at this point, um, as for many other communities in the Bay Area and in California, when you have a situation of basically functional zero vacancy rates, all the pressure is on the tenants, and the tenants are bearing all the weight of, um, of some really uh, critical life stuff. And um, those are the stories we heard, and that is, frankly, why we've all, we started this conversation. So with regards to the individual programs, I think we have to continue with the acquisition and preservation. Um, our efforts there, we're making some progress, not as much as I would like, and I do think we should, um, <coughs> I'm all for putting some more money into and bringing on in some assistance towards project development, uh, performa development, um, and actually I think we have to really build up on the ownership side, potential owners, who can we partner with? We have resources, we have the will, and I think we have the community behind um, that will stand up and get behind um, acquisition preservation efforts and hopefully skipping to the end if we are able to work on this housing overlay designation um, so that it results in potentially more projects coming forward. Um, I think we've got community that will get behind that. So um, those are the two bookends. Uh, landlord partnership program, yes, let's redirect that, uh, those funds that we're going to go towards the voluntary rental guidelines or anywhere else into that program. It's been uh, paying dividends in a host of ways. Thank you, Supervisor Conley, for leading that effort. Um, I, I think we have to, I think we need to keep mandatory mediation and just cause on the table. Um, I think we have more to hear and we have more to learn. And um, so I would uh, hope that the rest of the board agrees that um, our subcommittee should continue to work on both those items, and frankly, I think they probably, if we do either, we probably should consider doing both. But again, the devil's in the details and the nuance, and things have to be carefully crafted. And uh, I think we should try to do this right. It may not be perfect, but we can strive for right. I think that's about it. On the second unit amnesty, we can revive that at any time. So um, I would go along with staff recommendations, but I would also say to the degree that we have resources to help support folks who are interested in developing uh, ADUs or JDUs, um, I think that's also a good place to put some uh, energy and resources. And you spoke to housing overlay in the beginning, correct? Yeah, that yeah. was my okay, bookend. Great. 